Hi again. This is my last sales piece. Uh, I do have some others, but this one is the last one I wanted to actually spotlight. This is Lynn Fraley's Sadie Shoe Fly. And again, I was really wanting to do a varnish on her. So she is a varnish roan Appaloosa. She's got a dark bay base to her. I know the camera phone is not exactly picking up that color, but just for an idea, I will shoot some regular photos, but I thought I'd take a minute to, um, I've had some people ask me about doing Appaloosas and this one here is a lot more detailed than I think I've ever done before. I think even, uh, with ideal design, uh, Diane Kiter's uh, Appaloosa that I did back in 2014, 2015. Um, she had a ton of detail, but I think this one here even has even more. Uh, but my main brush is, let's see if I can get this, is the Escondido Kalinsky Reservoir Liner Brush. This is size two. And I like these brushes. This was uh, a brush that was heavily used by um, Jamie Baker. I think she's going by Jamie Wilson now. I, I apologize, Jamie. Um, I always give her a ton of credit because um, she really she really turned me on to this brush. And I think it's really up my game huge in a huge way. Uh, I can get details that I just wasn't able to do prior to her, some of her tutorials. So I always appreciate the fact that she was so giving of sharing her, her information, how she did her techniques and what her brushes of choice were. So Jamie, thank you. Uh, again, this is the Escondido uh, Kalinsky liner Reservoir liner brush at size two. Uh, let's see if I can get it a little closer. You can see the sharp point. The nice thing is you can load quite a bit of color into this and it keeps a nice sharp point. They do wear out um, pretty quickly uh, and they are a rather expensive brush. So keep that in mind. Uh, just so you can see, this is one that I've been using for a while. It's, it's probably about time to retire it. It's no longer keeping that nice sharp point that I like, uh, for those individual hairs. This is a, a newer one. You can see how sharp that point is. Oops. Cat hair. So you can see that nice sharp point on that end. Uh, I do need to do a th more thorough washing. I admit I'm pretty bad at how I wash my brushes. So how I do this here is individual little hairs on the model using a variety of different colors. Uh, she's not just white. There's some gray hairs in there and some black, some, you know, almost like a, a brownish color. Um, so these are not just white hairs laid in there. Really take a look at your reference horses when you're um, going to do a piece like this or this particular pattern and see where things are. So you can see like in here, you can see some black hairs or some grays and some browns mixed in there. Uh, so I was going off of a few different reference horses. Um, she's not quite done. I do have some additional work I need to get into the shoulder here. I need to get in there a little bit more. It's an odd angle, so I it's kind of difficult getting in there. Obviously, her face needs to be finished as well, and I have some little pieces I need to work on, some areas I'm not 100% happy with. So like her neck right here, this, I need to fix that. It's too uniform and the herring isn't quite where I want it, but you kind of see where she's going. And she will be an auction piece uh, for sale during Briarfest week. Um, 
as I mentioned with the Indian Pony, I'm working on some commissions as well, so I need to get those completed. But she will be wrapped up because um, I've been working on her in between. Just when I when I have other pieces that I'm doing for folks, I, I need to just kind of let my eyes rest from their work. And then when I come back to it, that's kind of the way I've, I've handled commissions over the years is I rotate through a variety or several different pieces at once because when I come back to each one, my eyes are a little fresher. I kind of see things that I didn't see before. Um, so that's how I do things. Anyway, um, this is Sadie Shoefly. And let me turn her around again. And she will be a Briarfest auction piece. And I'll be selling off of my website. I'm unfortunately not going to be in Kentucky. One of these days I do hope to get back there. Uh, but again, for this year, I'll be uh, part of the Artisan Gallery, the virtual component. And I'll be selling through my website. I will put a link in the comments and you'll have access to that. All right. Thank you again for watching. Feel free to subscribe. And if you want any more thorough tutorials on how I do things, feel free to leave me a comment or shoot me a message. See you again.